Good evening. Tributes are being paid to Dame Vera Lynn tonight, known as the Force's sweetheart, who's died at the age of 103. She passed away this morning, surrounded by her family, following a severe chest infection. Dame Vera was the voice of a generation, the link between the Britain of World War II and the Britain of today. She lived in Ditchling in Sussex and was a much-loved member of the community. We take a look back at her life now. Again. Vera Lynn sang perhaps her most famous song to the troops she visited all over the globe during World War II. It became an emblem of hope during the dark days and put her in constant demand. We'll Meet Again was written before the war, but it just happened to be a song that just fitted the situation. That situation, of course, was the peril this country faced during World War II, when men were conscripted, women took their jobs back home, and families were torn apart. Like other entertainers, Vera Lynn sang the sort of sentimental songs people wanted to hear. Songs that became a soundtrack to their lives. They were all optimistic songs. There were nothing that suggested anything of war, except uh, that, you know, that everybody's going to be back together again and happy ever after. So popular did the young singer and radio performer become, she was dubbed the Forces Sweetheart. It was at this time she and her husband bought their first home in Sussex. She was to live in the village of Ditchling for more than 40 years. Dame Vera, as she became in 1975, was always happy to help local causes. Here she is joining marchers, protesting against hospital cuts. There'll be blue Long before this, of course, another of her songs became famous all over the world. It was the song, really, that the boys uh, sort of, when they left this country, the last thing they saw, and um, hoped that they would see again when they returned. Unlike other performers, Vera Lynn was never really forgotten, and recently was made a companion of honour by the Queen an accolade she received at home. Dame Vera also spent her 100th birthday at home, but watched and listened via an internet link as children from her former school sang to her. Although Vera Lynn was astonishingly sprightly even in her later years, she herself had long stopped singing professionally. But just occasionally, took requests. We'll meet again, don't know where, don't know when, but I know we'll meet again some sunny day. <laughs> what will I do? <laughs> it will do. Well, Dame Vera's family say there will be a memorial service, a celebration of her life at a later date to be confirmed. Over the years, the singer and passionate charity advocate touched the lives of many. In one tribute, Dame Vera was called a great singer, a patriotic woman and a genuine icon. Malcolm Shaw has more. It gives me great pleasure to cut this ribbon today as I was uh, here quite a few years ago helping to lay the foundation stone. Throughout her long life, Dame Vera Lynn remained a passionate advocate for the causes in which she believed, those closest to her heart and often closest to home too. In Sussex, she fought for the welfare of disabled children, supporting parents at a school near Billingshurst, even setting up her own charity to secure its future. This morning at the headquarters in Cookfield, staff were mourning the loss of an inspirational leader. She has been a passionate, vibrant ambassador for this charity, for the children, for the families that we represent. And I think in the same way of what she did during the war with the troops and making certain that they weren't forgotten, that's what she's done here.
Ditchling was Dame Vera's home from the 1960s onwards. She became a key figure in the life of the village, actively involved in many community projects. Today, friends and colleagues paid tribute to her kindness and quiet determination. For me, anyway, I thought, how could this person be so famous? Because she was really a, uh, a great mainstay of the village in terms of supporting things like the arts and crafts. I mean, she was great with the arts and crafts, yeah. She was such a lovely person. She came to the shows at the south of England, Arding Lye, and um, always, you know, sat and thoroughly enjoyed things, went out occasionally to present some prizes to people. Um, and, you know, we always loved seeing her, so... Um, it's, it is very sad, but we've all got lots of happy memories of her. As she became more frail, Dame Vera's public appearances inevitably became less frequent, but she remained closely in touch with events. In March this year, she recalled the wartime spirit to help us through the pandemic. Our country has faced dark times before, and we've always overcome them. I'm sure we will again. We meet again. Sentiments echoed by the Queen, who referenced Vera Lynn's most famous song in her speech to the nation in April. We should take comfort that while we may have more still to endure, better days will return. We will be with our friends again. We will be with our families again. We will meet again. In the year 2000, at the dawn of a new millennium, Vera Lynn was named the Britain who best exemplified the spirit of the 20th century. Her passing keenly felt here in the place she called home. Malcolm Shaw, ITV News, Ditchling. And you can find more of today's tributes to Dame Vera Lynn as well as a look back on her career on our website. Please go to itv.com forward slash meridian.